Yeah, great. Can you uh, tell us what exactly happened coverage wise on that 66 yard touchdown at the end of the fourth quarter? Communication error. How did, how does that happen? Like what, what, what does that mean? A communication did y'all have two different coverages you were playing simultaneously? Like, what do you mean when you say that? Yeah, it was a two call play and the penal formation we play either one, either call. So communication error. Thanks, Jake. Jeff Chanel. Say it again. Grant, Grant, what was your assignment on that play? Communication error. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Mary Kay Cabot, go ahead. Um, yeah, Grant, we're just trying to make some sense out of this um, for people. I know it's hard, but uh, we just talked to Denzel and he said he had the the flat on that particular play and that, quote, it wasn't my coverage, my coverage. So <clears throat> when he says that, then, you know, I think it leaves it up to you in terms of it being your guy. I mean, but I don't, you know, I don't want to assume that. So can you explain if that's accurate or true? I'm not gonna play the blame game with my teammates. So I'm gonna just leave that. It's a communication error. Okay. I mean, do you feel like I mean, do you kind of wish everybody would sort of approach it that way where where nobody's where you kind of leave it nebulous on who was supposed to do what or not do what? Yeah, on to the next week. Thanks, Mary Kay. Our next question will be from Daryl Ryder. So, Grant, what's the solution to fix these communication errors? Because we heard that uh, week one at Carolina with a couple of breakdowns that, that had happened there, a couple of breakdowns in this one. So how do you guys uh, resolve these errors so that it doesn't carry forward deeper into the season? Just make sure we're talking, everybody on the same page. And – no, overemphasizing it. Um, JJ3 mentioned after the game, maybe hand signals would be a, a good way to go just to make sure that everybody in the secondary knows what's going on or is on the same page. Is that something that you would agree would, would solve the problem? Yeah, we do that. Uh, we just overemphasize it. Thank you, Daryl. Let's go to Scott Patrick. Grant, would you say the issue is more the players commuting communicating to each other on the field or getting the call in from the sideline? On the field. Okay. And then what happened on the touchdown at the end of the first half? Hall catches that swing pass. Um, what happened on that? Uh, we got a flat player. Thank you, Scott. Next up, we'll go to Tony Grossi. Tony, go ahead and mute your line. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hey, Grant. Uh, yes, uh, Denzel, this too. Uh, uh, another defensive coordinator would always station a safety 20 yards deep in that situation. Is that a temporary solution to getting beat over the top? What do you mean, 20 yards? You talking about single high, like two high, what? I guess so, yeah. I guess that's the te technical. I mean, it's, I guess I'm questioning the play call and – when you just can't have anyone go over the top like that, wouldn't just put the safety deep. It makes sense. It could, it could not. I mean, it's communication error. It wasn't. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Ashley Bastock, you're up. Hey, Grant. Last night, Greg seemed to think that these communication issues have kind of caught you guys by surprise. He said he felt like in practice and camp that you guys weren't having these problems. I guess, do you feel similarly, is this kind of an unexpected problem to have to deal with this early in the season? I mean, it's early in the season, so it's happening now, they are happening later. So, you know, we get it fixed. And then Denzel got asked about this as well, but I mean, it seems like with the, the green sticker guy on defense that, you know, you guys maybe use Jacob some, Anthony some, guys coming in and out a little bit more. Would it make a difference to have that green sticker guy be somebody who's on the field for more snaps? I mean, anybody, you know, I feel like anybody can do it. 
well, you know, we got to, you got to know your playbook and stuff like that. So anybody can do it um, that knows that, but, you know, it's not a thing. The mic is usually the one with the green dots, so it's not an, a normal thing.